Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.12 from the chapter number 4. This problem has two parts. In the first part, we have to design a half subtractor circuit where X and Y are the inputs and the outputs are this difference and B out. Okay. This X and Y are the inputs and difference and B out is the outputs. The circuit subtracts the bits X minus Y. That means we have to subtract Y from X and place the differences in the diff. Okay, this is denoted this DIFF denotes the difference and borrow is denoted by B out. In the second part, in the similar process, we have to design a full subtractor circuit where we will have another B in. B in here is the borrow in. And after getting this X minus Y minus B in, we have to put the difference in DIFF similar to the previous case. And borrow, we have to put in B out. So let us solve it one by one. So in the first part, we have suppose first part we have x and y are the input variable so let us make the truth table first so x and y are the input variables and difference diff and b out these are the two output variables okay so for two input variables we will have four combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay so x minus y we have to find out so 0 minus 0 difference is 0 and borrow is also 0. So 0 minus 1. So we have to take one borrow. Okay. So we have taken one borrow. And after taking one borrow, it will be 1, 0, 2. Okay. 2 minus 1 will be 1. Here we have 1 minus 0. So difference is 1 and borrow is 0. Here we have 1 minus 1. So difference is 0 and borrow is also 0. Okay. Now what we have to do? Now we have to make the k map and from the k map we have to find out the expression for difference and b out so k map for difference okay input there are two input variables x and y 0 1 0 1 okay now we have to put this value 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 okay therefore difference will be well, two. This will be one combination. This is another. We have to consider separately. So this term will be x y bar plus this term will be x bar y. So we can write it as x xor y. This is nothing but the xor expression. So this is the expression for difference. Now we have to find out the borrow k map for b out. Okay. Now we have to make the k map for b out. So for b out, also we have to input variable okay 0 1 0 1 x y okay so we have to put this value 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 okay so we'll have only one term in b out b out equal to this is x bar y x bar y so we have got this expression for the difference and the borrow out so what we have to do now we can make the circuit diagram because we are asked to design a half subtractor circuit so the half subtractor circuit will have two inputs x and y okay x y here we can see that x and y and x bar is also there so we'll take a inverter and here we'll get x bar okay and y line will be this one okay so for finding out the difference we have the expression x x or y so take a line from x and take a line from y use a xor gate okay so here you will get the difference okay similarly for borrow out we have the x x bar y so take a line from x bar and take a line from y so we have multiplication use a n gate okay so here we will get b out Okay, so this is the solution of the first part of the problem. We have made the truth table. From this truth table, we have made the k-map for difference as well as borrow out. Okay, so from these k-maps, we have got the minimized expression x, x or y and for b out, x bar y. Okay, after getting these equations, the Boolean expressions. Okay, so we have made the circuit diagram. So this is the solution of the first part of the problem.
In the second part of the problem, we have another input that is B in along with X and Y. So again, we have to make the truth table. So inputs are the X, Y and B in. Okay. And the outputs are same difference and B out. So here we have, we can see that we have three input variables. So we'll have eight combination. 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so we have these eight combinations now let us find out the difference and borrow out of this truth table in the question we are given that we have to do x minus y minus b in. okay so let us find out the difference 0 minus 0 minus 0 okay so we'll be having 0 as difference and borrow out is also 0 so 0 minus 0 is 0 so 0 minus 1 so we have to take one borrow okay and the difference will be also 1 okay similarly we have 0 minus 1 so borrow will be 1 and difference will be also 1 okay because after getting 1 minus 0 it will be the same difference okay then we have 0 minus 1 okay so we'll have borrow 1 okay we'll get after getting zero, after doing the 0 minus 1 subtraction, we'll have differences 1. So after 1 minus 1, it will be 0. Okay. And similarly, let me fill up this table. 1 minus 0 minus 0 is difference is 1, borrow is 0. Okay. Then we have 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0, and borrow is also 0. So 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 minus 0 is again 0. So difference is 0, borrow is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 1, so we have to take one borrow, okay, and the difference will be also 1. Okay, so this is the truth table for a full subtractor circuit. Now we will find out the expression for difference and B out. Okay, so K map for difference, okay, so here we have three input variable, okay, so we have two row, four column. So x, y, and b in these are the three input variables 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, now we have to put these difference values. So here we can see that we have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, then we have 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so we'll have to consider like this. Okay, so difference equal to we'll have so first of this term x y bar and b in bar plus for this term we'll have x bar y bar b in plus for this term we'll have x y b in plus for this term we'll have x bar y b in bar okay so we have got this expression now let us simplify it so what we'll have so if we consider this term and this term, so we can take b in bar common. Okay, so we can write x y bar plus x bar y and b in is b in bar is common. Okay, so from this term and this term we can take b in common. Okay, so we have to write x bar y bar plus x y all into b in. Okay, now here we can see that. This is nothing but XOR operation. We can write X XOR Y. Okay. Fall into B in bar. Plus, this is X NOR operation. Okay. So, X NOR is the opposite of XOR. Okay. So, we'll write X XOR Y whole complement. This whole after getting this XOR, if we take complement, it will be X NOR into B in. Now here we can see that it is the expression of suppose a b bar plus a bar b. So we can write it as x xor y xor b in. So this is the expression for difference of a full subtractor. Okay, so this is equation number 3. Okay, so we have got the expression for difference. Now we will find out the expression for this b out. Okay, so k map for b out. So, similar process we have to follow. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, x, y, b, in. Now, we have to put this values 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 1. 
zero 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 one. Okay, so we can take this will be one combination, this will be another combination, and this will be the third combination. So we can write it as b out equal to. So from this term, what we'll get x bar, and from here we'll get it is b in plus from this term we will get x bar y plus from this term we will get y b in so this is the expression for b out so we have got the boolean expression for difference and b out for this full subtractor circuit so we have to draw the logic circuit of this full subtractor circuit we have three inputs x y and b in so here we can see that x bar is also there okay so x is one input so we need to complement it so here we'll get x bar similarly y is one input y bar is not there okay so we need not to find out y bar okay and b in is another input b in okay so these are the three inputs and now we have to realize these equations these expressions so difference is x y and b in xor in xor operation x y b in okay so use a xor gate so this is nothing but the difference then we have b out b out is first of all we have to use n gates to realize this this and this then we have to use or get to add these three terms okay so x bar b in x bar b in use a n gate so here we'll get x bar b in then we have x bar y x bar y you say n get so here we'll get x bar y then we have y b in y b in okay you say n get so y b in then you have to add these terms so you have to use a or get so these will be the three inputs okay so here we'll get the borrow out okay so this is the logic circuit of the full subtractor thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you